Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. And if you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And we have everything, you know, from snapbacks to hoodies, everything for you to get your drip on and have something new, original, just to add to your closet. Okay, today's episode, I really, really wanted to get this episode out to you guys because it's almost a thing where people are living this like robotic lifestyle thinking that everybody should be like everybody. And we hear this a lot in the black community in certain situations. Oh, you're acting white or you're talking white. And when you really break it down and see what that really is about, you know, it's just a, it's different levels to education, different levels to how people see things and how people take other people in you know i always tell you guys whether you you're of high education or you have no education at all respect should be the first thing that we should approach each other with so we're gonna jump into this whole acting like you're white or talking like you're white thing and try to see dig deep and see what's really going on and plus i got some pizza over here i, I really got to get rid of so you guys tune in and we're gonna get right into this Let's get it. Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. <laughs> Is it me or has anyone grown up or even now deal with people in the black community telling you you sound white or you talk white? For me, I've heard that all my life and it really offends me. So I've come up with the perfect response. Keep watching this video if you struggle with that as well. So the next time someone comes at you and says you talk white, hit them with this response and I bet it will put them on hush mode. Just because I'm black and I display my intelligence, you think that I'm acting white? Black excellence is real and it has nothing to do with white proximity. What to say when people tell you you act white? You tell me I act white makes me think that you have an idea, if you will, of how a black person should act. So please tell me what I can do to fit the stereotype that you have in your head. Can you help me understand? To all the black girls and women of color who have been told that they sound like a white girl, I usually don't talk about these things because I feel like there are far more important things to talk about like mental health and the state of our psychological welfare and things that are going on in the world. However, I do believe that comments like this do affect our identity and do play a role within our mental health. And I am said black girl who went through this, you know, growing up having a very confusing relationship with race because everyone around me kept trying to define my race for me. I've been called an Oreo. I've been told I sound like a white girl, yada, yada, yada. And you know, I sound like my parents. Both of my parents are articulate. In fact, my grandparents, my whole family kind of sounds like this. So even if I was never around a white person in my entire life, I would probably sound similar to this because I sound like my parents and my family and they are black. And I have to tell you, one of the best things I did was go through a course at UCLA called Sister to Sister. It was for black women in academia where we really got to explore ideas around blackness as well as around academia and being in settings where our race is very salient, where we maybe feel too black in one setting or not black enough in another setting, which is all usually socially constructed by the people around us. It finally helped me come to the conclusion that whatever I am is what being black is, right? Because I am black, whatever I show, whatever I display, whatever my interests, my passions are, whatever I look like, sound like, style like, I am black. And that is also what it means to be black because we are not a monolith. We don't just look and act one way. And to imply that is actually, the reverse logic is actually very stereotypical. This doesn't really happen to me anymore because I think people have grown up and matured and hopefully gained some more critical thinking. But if anyone were to ask like, or tell me that I sound white or I don't sound black, I would just ask the reverse question. What should a black person sound like? What should a black person look like? What should a black person act like? 
And any response to that in and of itself is going to be stereotyping. It's going to be stereotypical. Um, and it speaks to the bias that that person has in their own limited views of who and what black people are. And yes, I mean, even coming from our own community, we've just got to stop putting people in boxes and we've got to stop allowing other people to put us in boxes because we have multiple intersectionalities that make up who we are. Whatever you are is what it looks like to be your race, period. You sound like a white boy. You talk white. What exactly does that even mean? Now, why I'm bringing this up is because it's come up a lot in different comments on my videos in the last couple of days. Like, does that mean I have to talk in a bonics or as some people would call it, AAV or African American vernacular English? I swear, some people on this app say some of the dumbest things I've ever heard. Quick warning, I never cuss in my videos, but for the sake of this one, it's necessary. It's like you guys assume that I'm that guy from Not Another Teen Movie. Sure, I am the token black guy. I'm just supposed to sit here, smile, stay out of the conversation, and say things like, damn, shit, and that is whack. So if talking white means I speak properly, I'm assuming talking black means that I'm supposed to sound illiterate. Is that where we're going with this? Because that sounds stupid. And just so nobody's confused, there have been black people and white people who have both said this same thing. I'll tell you what, audience, let's break the fourth wall really quick. Would you like me to code switch for the black people and the white people that are currently watching this right now? Be like one of those sign language interpreters who's always next to the singer at the Super Bowl who's translating things for people who happen to be deaf. Do you realize how silly all that sounds? I'm a late realized autistic woman. And when I was in school, middle school, high school, elementary school, the number one thing that people like to say is that I acted white. Everyone was like, oh, Jennifer acts white. She's the whitest black girl you've ever fucking meet. And it used to just piss me off. It still kind of makes me mad now because I didn't really understand where that was coming from. Like I knew that I liked white, white things. They were just like hobbies that I was into that white people just happened to like engage with more than black people. So automatically they assumed that I was trying to be white. But then I learned like that I was autistic and I'm like, okay, that makes a little more sense why you guys think that I'm trying to be white. Because I didn't understand where it was coming from because I grew up in a, a Latin Caribbean black culture. That was my culture. That was the people I was around. I was never even around white people. Like I was around white people once I moved states to a new state which is predominantly white. So that was the only time I actually ever had like really close interactions with white people, like groups of white people. So I never knew where that was coming from. And it really messed with me in my identity as a black woman. Like it made me look at myself like I was not black enough. And sometimes I would have to overcompensate and, and, and act a certain way just so I could feel like the other black kids um, would feel like I was one of them because they were saying that I was I was trying to be white so bad that like it really affected my identity as a black woman. Inherently who I am and how I'm showing up is not socially normal for a black woman. And that just fucked up my whole perception of how I looked at myself. I'm about to head out of my house to go run some errands, but I want to address this comment. And Cassie, I don't want you to take this as a jab because I want to feel like you came from a genuine place. So don't take this as a jab. I want you to take this as a lesson. It's always been amusing to me how white people are so amazed when black people show up in the same spaces that they're in or when black people are able to operate at a level that they operate at because for them it's the expectation but for black people it's somehow extraordinary you speak so well thank you i've never in all of my life heard a white person tell another white person you speak so well you want to know why because for white people speaking well is the expectation for black people i'm wild oh my goodness you're so articulate 
for white people there are basic human functions you speak well you read well you write well you can hold a conversation you're well versed on many different topics that is the expectation but for black people when black people perform these same basic human functions that white people perform somehow it's an accomplishment no ma'am what you're saying to me is that you don't expect for black people to be articulate or to be intelligent and when you see that you're wild by it and you want to let me know that this is not what I'm used to this is not what I expect from your kind but you're different you're a different black girl it's giving that a girl no ma'am Cassie is giving Karen newsflash black people are intelligent black women are the most educated group of people in this country okay being educated being articulate knowing how to hold a conversation knowing how to lead the room is not new to black people I need white people to stop acting surprised about that it's not a compliment here's a rule of thumb white people here's a rule of thumb before you give a black person a compliment stop and ask yourself is this something that I would say to my white counterpart if the answer is no, it's not a compliment. And check yourself. What does talking like you're white mean? I mean, jokan bang like kothaboli, I mean, either kothaboli. And when I talk in English, this is how I talk. What is talking like you're white? Let's, what, what is that? Another thing too, I didn't think it would be that controversial to say there is a such thing as talking white. I mean, even taking into account different dialects, different accents and language, there's still a such thing as talking white. And should I assume you didn't have to study rhetoric and linguistics to be able to make this simple identification, but boy, was I wrong. Listen, linguistics literally means the study of language and its structure. And if you study the structure of language in terms of power, you will see that language is always afforded to the colonizer or the conqueror. And within all colonial states, your ability to master the colonizer's language will always afford you particular privilege to resources and opportunities. I say this as somebody that's been able to master a bit of the colonizer's English, you feel me? So don't try to play me and make it like I'm just trying to police black people that don't speak Ebonics, because that's not what it is. However, you know what I'm saying, the ability to speak Ebonics does have implications on what you have and what you cannot have. There is a such thing as talking white. Stop playing. Um. Black folks, black people, I'm gonna need y'all to calm down on this app. And remember, we are in mixed company. Y'all with this whole uh, something I'm not afraid to admit as a, if you don't, they can, they can hear, uh, they can see us, some of y'all having conversations that we should be keeping at the kitchen table on this here clock app. Now I get some of y'all where y'all coming from. Some of y'all, you should be afraid to admit that, but I need y'all to hush it up. They, they, and they, mm-mm, shh. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> and all the other trends where we expose and I keep that at the kitchen table. Let's get it together. What I can't say with just telling somebody you're talking or acting white or talking white, it's just an ignorant statement that never let somebody stop you or stunt you from being more intelligent or learning new things. And um, just understanding that words mean a lot and the more you explore, the more you learn, it upgrades your mind and it gives you a sharper sense of thinking. So never let somebody tell you how you're just because you have you talk a certain way or you talk with bigger words you know i never understood that i hear you know i heard it from even rappers say things like you're talking this you're talking that and they're supposed to be the ones that's supposed to be so brilliant at words not every all of them but the ones that do know you know words are the things that cut sharper than knives and when people have a better level of education and a better level of understanding it makes things a whole lot easier for people to communicate you guys let me know down below and uh, leave your comments i always get back to you guys i love all you guys and i'll get back to you soon you know monday wednesdays and fridays 9 a.m the morning show that's us that's all of us